Today I am making a very large battery box to hold batteries in, and the batteries are these. This is a Duracell Ultra battery from Batteries Plus, and it's listed as a Duracell Pro Scrubber and Sweeper battery. However, here is its, uh, its uh, information on it and UPC. This battery is a DECA, D-E-K-A, made by East Penn Manufacturing. And I'll include a picture of this battery. And that battery, this exact battery, is the DECA solar battery. So it does have a seven to 10 year lifespan if properly treated. This is a six volt battery and it's quite sizable. So let me get you that at 15 inch plus tall and a foot almost 11, 11 and a half inches wide and seven inches in depth, I guess you'd say depth. So this battery is 370 amp hours, but by putting two together for a 12 volt system, you still only get 370 amp hours. And back here, we have a lot more of them. So the new battery bank system is going in because we, uh, we're moving the old ones from the shop to the house, getting rid of the ones that were in the basement. And I've got a buyer for those because they still got another year or two on them and he's starting a system, so they're gone. These are coming in and this is my wife's purchase so she did the research on it she even talked to him at east pen manufacturing and every ounce of makeup plate separator you name it identical however this is 35 dollars per battery cheaper if you get them from batteries plus bulbs see and if you buy them online and pick them up you get 10 percent off a large purchase like this which is over four thousand dollars she just used her retirement cash out to buy these because she wanted to replace the system. So now it's my job to build a large box. Now what we're going to be using is these thousand pound capacity Harbor Freight rollers, furniture movers, strip this off of it, fill it in with three quarter plywood, and then we're going to be using them in a layout that will allow a very large rolling bank to be made see so that will be four set out and bolted together with uh, two bits running across these all the way across with three-quarter uh, plywood on top of that and plywood underneath it glued screwed bolted so it's one big solid plate and then the box will be built around it and up to be airtight with two air lines coming out of it uh, for incoming and outgoing hydrogen release so take this in a few steps let's go to the next step now all right now I have constructed using four of those dollies as you see in the beginning here um, and using uh, five or uh, two by sixes and some two by fours and heavy decking and a lot of support underneath to make a deck now that has four 1,000 pound dollies so that's Chinese math so we're gonna call it four 700 pound dollies to be accurate and now we're going to build the box now we'll go to the next step and on the bottom of this big carrier you'll see that it has a big sheet of three-quarter plywood scrap one before's that have been used for fill in because that's the dimensions of this lumber in here and um, what we're going to do is we're going to be running the plywood that runs upward from this edge upward with it glued and all of this has been spot glued as well so it's glued screwed and ready to roll this is going to be holding 14 of these batteries uh, which is going to be right around uh, 7, 16, 1700 pounds. So let's see what we got going. Next step. All right, now what I've got now is I've got the side panels on and the first coat of primer paint using some of this here bullseye. And it works real good. 
and we're going to work with that and then we're going to put another coat of paint that's a little bit acid resistant now that bullseye is very good for being acid resistant that's why it works to cover in, to cover bad spots on your ceilings or walls in your house now this is the back panel and it will be going on right after I take all these batteries that are now out of the truck and we get those these DECA Duracell batteries and get them in here along with the uh, board here that'll be a board that goes across right here a tube of six going across the batteries will be in here long ways two at a time 12 volt 12 volt 12 volt and each one to have an independent cable coming up and on top up here there will be two large four by five and a half inch three eighths inch thick copper plates mounted on a plastic isolator insulator it will go with all the cables come up to it we'll have very huge uh, 5 8 bolts that will come up and that's what we hook to to go onto the wall that has everything else this is going to be literally mobile enough to where if I either sell my place or move it can go with me uh, when you're going to spend four thousand dollars in batteries that's a smart move so that is the beginning of stage two for the, the box and the board that goes up top is already painted and ready to go up there and this is what we're working with so it's going to hold 14 batteries total um, roughly I think 1675 pounds somewhere in that range all right now what I'm going to do next is I'm going to take this here two and a half inch hole saw and I've got myself these OD OAT EY I believe it is what it say here yep OD stainless steel shower drains now the reason you want this is because even if mice or something somehow get up your pipe they're not going to get into your shop and what we're going to do is we're going to drill a hole uh, down here in the front quarter of this box and I'll put a close radius street 90 in it running towards the back on the wall and it'll run outside which is about five feet away and up here on the top I will be putting another one and because hydrogen gas uh, rises it will allow this to vent and this one will come straight out hit the wall and go up and out the building that way it creates natural drafting and by taking this unit right here or taking this fitting right here I'll be able to drill it and put four screws in it and just screw it to the wood and then this piece right here we will just be able to put it on the inside as a cover plate and you will have that airflow that's naturally drafting because of the hydrogen so working on that step now all right so you can see by putting the holes through and drilling this now I ended up having to use a three-quarter screw here and tapering the hole uh, chamfering the hole for that to go into and using a regular one inch screw here because it's got that molded part and putting four of them on there so you see that um, now the next thing is the plate so I took the plate and this is where these were indented originally so that they fit correctly on the shower drain over the top of it and now they will go in with just regular three-quarter inch pan head screws the wide pants so let's get that in and you will have in here full ventilation for your battery box all right now we have the batteries in the box all 14 and up top up here we have our vents in up top and down at the bottom we have the one down at the bottom natural drafting and um, yes the hydrogen will find its way out if you're wondering we're going to be using a ribbon hinge up here so there's another piece of the three-quarter plywood that'll cross this completely and this ribbon hinge will attach to it and then there will be a gasket that will run down the entire lid surface all the way around so that right there is the battery box and it is ready to roll 
We just have to get these finished on this side over here and we'll be using rubber fern coats to hook them up so if anybody bumps the box it won't break fittings and yes paint everywhere. So not a bad situation and you can see very mobile and on my next video we're going to show the completed box with the power lines hooked up all the links done inside and that way you can see how you can put about 20 2000 3000 amps in a box and make your whole life easier self-contained mobile somewhat and easy to build not too bad it took me about i'm at about six hours on this project